Hey guys, Dylan from Geek Duo here, and today I'll be bringing you my reaction to The Umbrella Academy Season 4, Episode 4, titled The Cleanse. After learning the truth about Jennifer, the crew sets out to find her in bed. Klaus hustles to escape his plight, Five and Lila try to change the past. Okay, so I am hoping we actually get to learn what the Jennifer incident is and they don't just have that done between episodes and we pick up with them coming out of the machines but given the fact that there's only three episodes left I don't think they have time for that um, Klaus hustles to escape his plight that's probably gonna be similar to when he was Kidnapped by Hazel and Chacha, except it's with this um, Mothers of Anarchy guy, and I don't know what past Five and Lila are going to try and change. I mean, we haven't actually seen Five time travel since he got his powers back, so it's going to be interesting, because that sort of implies he can, but what what happens when he does? Because if he blinks to the station all the time, does he time travel to the station at a different point in time? Hmm. Guess we'll find out. Let's get this started in three, two, one, go. Every time I hit play, I always think, I hope my subtitles are on. Good. <clears throat> I mean, it's not wrong. You think these are the same actors who played them during the bank? I mean, the uniform's not really fitted to her, so... Oh, Diego. Okay, the container is getting opened. I was about to say, do you think this could be the past that they're trying to change? But no, I don't think this would have happened in this. Well, obviously. Hey, we do get Pogo. This obviously didn't happen in this timeline. But could they go to the original timeline, jump back in time to... Hmm. But also, neither of them are strapped in, so they don't know what's being shown. Maybe. 
maybe turn your torches off? Timed explosive that he mistimed or then you were told not to open it. Yes, makes contact and hmm. I don't trust the look she's giving. They connected Okay That is Out of everything that could have happened That is not what I was expecting I was They made a connection In this time as well Really using the corpses as the umbrella. Was that a little bit of the air stutter coming back through? So basically matter and antimatter. Well, at least it's not Victor this time.
don't know. That was glowing. Well, Victor got his heart to heart that he was wanting in the last episode. <laughs> Question Is he going to reveal to them that he's in I mean I did say that Um It was a different planet so I guess that is confirming that it's aliens, but... You're doing parlor shows now? Well, I mean, he is called the Seance.
You only got the immortality and the floating. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I wasn't expecting the ghost to actually show up. Dick's gonna have to possess him, isn't he? Does that count as prostitution? I told you, actual, um, forensics? Okay, so, here's the thing, we know, we now know Klaus got all of his powers back. Why did I say it like that?
he saved him, so sort of owes the favor back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one without the other. Do you really think you can get a suit in Luther's size? Really, he's even taken over the fast food. Yes, it was a code. But a code for what? Ha!
Come to your doggies. <laughs> How did she know about the palace? Also, something I'm a little surprised they never um addressed is hereditary powers. I mean, So how are you going to get out of that? Ah, so No. I always prefer the chicken sandwich myself. Or, oh, well, burger. As long as it's not grilled chicken, though. It follows.
I mean, you still have a sister somewhere out there. Possibly. It really is interesting, the intrinsic connection between these two, that in every timeline, there is a connection. Because there was the original timeline, there's this timeline where they actually meet, there's the Sparrow timeline where Ben was drawing Jennifer and everything, she was found in a squid, he has squid powers. Maybe there's the solution to this cleanse. Like there's something about the marigold in Ben, the way it manifested to Except for the ah, pamphlet track map. Why do I feel like this is going to take them to a different? universe like they're on a different line or something again Well, Klaus is going to be filling that in.
Hmm. Interesting. I wonder how he's going to use that, um, <laughs> I mean. Always gonna have a chance on just in case. I still can't get over those turnstiles that are can be skirted around. That's that different uniform. Hmm. Ok. 
Can you read it? Lila, get on the train. I was expecting him to make a, um... <laughs> no? Thunderbolt. And clunked with the shovel. Why is it always the face? Did they really all take each other out? No, I guess.
I was about to say. Oh, he is burying him. I was not expecting that. You can take his marigold, yes, but also he double dosed, so. I was expecting him to explode the syrup. I was not expecting Reginald to be a milkshake kind of guy. Guess it doesn't. Express to where? Green's never a good colour. Well, Well, okay, I can see why you want to avoid the cleanse. That did not seem like a fun experience for the, um, clerk. I forget what the name of the person who works behind a hotel desk is. Um, right. So, a lot happened in that episode. Um, we got, we finally learnt what the Jennifer incident is. Which has been a big question since season one. Um, we got Victor talking down to Reginald, which... Has been coming since season one. We've got, um, to see that Klaus got his entire power set back. So, plus the additional floating, which he didn't 
Well, we couldn't see if he was aided by any spirits or that, so... Might be a new ability, might be the same old. Uh, Diego finally gets to go to the CIA. Um... Once again, Sai shows up randomly at a point of importance and somehow knows the correct things to say to get into the situation. Though I feel he may have rubbed Gene the wrong way and then he's going to take it out on Sai because how did Sai just have the box? Like, he set this whole thing in motion. Sai is the orchestrator of everything. Is he some sort of cosmic entity? Like, we know... We know God exists in this. The little girl that Klaus met in season one. So is there some other cosmic force at play, sort of... I don't want to say the devil, but... Because he showed up right at a... When the whole family was being brought together. Kidnapped the one that all of them like. So they would all unite to go rescue him. Happened to have memorabilia from other timelines. Including a convenient jar of marigold. He... We know Cle but he has uh, some idea of Ben's personality, so he probably knew Ben would spike the drinks to give them their powers back, giving them the marigold. Sent them to New Grumption when he just mysteriously disappeared with all his equipment. And... So set them on the path of Ben meeting Jennifer. Knew about the connection between Ben and Jennifer. Had been active. Had been activated, I mean. Was able to instruct Ben on how to utilize that connection to find her. And now suddenly he knows the passphrase into the um, keeper's, like, top secret organization is able to charm up to Gene and yeah so there's something up with Sai and I'm not on top of the whole he's not telling the truth to anyone but there's something he has orchestrated all of these events so what is his deal? Hmm. Interesting. Um. Klaus can now see into the memories of the people who possess him. Don't know if it's all dead or just the ones specifically possessing him, so. Yeah, uh, we got to meet a new family of heroes. The, um. Phoenix Academy. So we got a mix of... Okay, so we got... I want to say Faye. Uh, Alfonso. Klaus. Diego. Um, Luther, and this new guy who has fire powers. Um, hmm. I wonder what caused this timeline, because we know that in the Sparrow timeline, those new five were only brought, like, adopted. I don't know how I forgot that word. Because... Harlan accidentally killed the um, Umbrella Academy before they were born. So, what caused this change, the mix of Sparrow 
Umbrella and this new guy. Hmm. Klaus has been buried alive. So that's going to be interesting. Um, we got to see the clones in effect and Five and Lila are going somewhere on an express train. Don't know where that could be. I'm assuming we'll find out in the next episode. Or maybe we won't see them again until the finale. Who knows? But, I, uh, Yeah, I'm gonna end this here. This was a dense episode. It was a very enjoyable episode. I don't see what people are saying about this being a disappointing season. Unless these last two episodes really shit the bed. This is on par with... Hmm. I don't actually know which one I would regard as the best season. Hmm. I guess I'll have to think about that. Maybe actually go back and watch the other three seasons to... See. But, yeah, um, I'm going to end this one here. I've got... I've put out my theory about what is going on with Sai or the fact that there's something going on with him like he knows this he's orchestrated all of this but what is the goal is it to cause the cleanse or to avert the cleanse and save both Ben and Jennifer hmm Interesting. I don't know. I really can't get a read on him. So, I guess with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one.